Hello, everyone. Good morning. Can anyone please confirm I'm audible or not? Yeah. Okay, then. Yeah, I'll tell the projects. Okay, project means requirement. I will tell. Just try from your end. Okay, I will share some information with you. Okay, let's start. Last class, where we stopped. Last class, what we discussed. Can anyone? Last class, we discussed about Saga, right? Saga. Okay, can anyone tell why we go for generator functions? Generator functions, why we go for? Why we go for generator functions? Hmm? Why we go for generator functions? Yeah, to control the statements execution inside the function or not. Statement execution, if you want to control, you can go with that. Okay, how my generator function is looks like? My function keyword, okay, just you have to keep like what, star, star. After that, as usual, you are going to put like, okay, your function name and your function body, everything is like common. Now, if I call a generator function, what it is going to return? It returns one object, one iterator object or not. If you want to start your body statements inside the body, some statements you return, right? That statements, if you want to execute, how we can, how we can, if you want to execute the statements, how we can execute. Once you get that iterator object, on iterator object, you have to call next method. You have to call which method? Next method you have to call. If I call the next method, how many statements are going to execute and then we'll stop? How we can control it? Statements execution. 10 statements I want to execute. And then you have to keep your yield keyword or not. Yield. Okay. As usual, in between, if you get any error, okay, then that time, yes, JavaScript throws an error is nothing but terminated that particular execution abnormally. That is a separate discussion. Okay, any prob any statement throws an error, throws an exception while okay running your code. Okay, that means at runtime, if you get an exception, then that time my program terminated abnormally here, yield or something, something it's not okay, it's not impact on your exception handling. Exception handling is nothing but just at runtime. If you get any exception, then that time just it's going to terminate your execution abnormally. That's it. Okay, now. If you want to stop your execution, then you can go with what? Yield. Yield. Yes or no? Okay. Now, why we go for generator functions? Why we go for generator functions? Can anyone? Why? Okay. Scenario tell me. Scenario tell me. Okay. To control your execution flow is okay. Okay. Scenario. When you go, when you go for it. When, when you go for it. Okay. Very simple thing. I have set of statements out there. Okay. That statement result. Okay, is required for next statements execution. Okay, that means what? My next statement has to wait or not until unless the first 10 statements or whatever it is is going to execution complete. First statements has to execute to start your execution. It's take how much time? I don't know. It's take how much time? I don't know. So that my next statement has to wait or not. If I know exactly 10 seconds has to wait is nothing but set time out or something, something I can do it. But I don't know the time, then how I can? How I can mean simply just put like yield, make that function like a generator function. Wherever you want me to stop, just you can put like yield keyword. Then what happened? First 10 statements are going to execute. Okay, how much time? Okay, your wish. Okay, how much time you want? That much time you can take. Once I get the result, then only I will call the next method. Okay, whenever I call the next method, then only the next set of statements will execute or not. Okay, if in that case, Okay, in that case, we are going to use this type of okay, generator functions. Okay, in your saga also, my saga people use like a generator functions. Why it means everything they want to control from their side. That's it. Okay, that's not. Yesterday, how much what we completed? How much what we completed? Okay, already, sir, everything we written, only we focus on saga or not. So, can I open? Can I open our saga folder? Where is our saga folder? Uh, this is your saga folder. So in my application, see, maybe I want to handle the functionality with actions. Maybe I want to handle with trunk. Okay, maybe I want to handle with saga. Any one of these one you can use it based on your requirement, based on your requirement. But nowadays, most of the people are using like saga. It's an updated one, updated middleware. 
Okay. Now, see this. My saga, which contains two files. On which basis you create, created these two files? Can anyone guess? On which basis? Very simple thing. Here, my requirement is I want to store photos. And the next one is what? I want to store like a comments. I want to store like a comments. So if you want to get the photos, has to send the request to the server and get the photos, right? Okay, from where you want me to send the request means from my saga. In the past, I sent the request from the action. Okay, I called this server call from the action from tongue. Now I want to call from where? From my saga or not? From my saga. So that I want to handle photos one. Okay, if you send the request for photos you get the photos response on photos response whatever you want to do whatever the operation you want me to do you can do it so that for that purpose i create a okay one of the file name like a photo saga file that's it inside this file which type of operations you want me to write is very simple thing. see here photos where it is inside my database inside my database where it's going to store Directly, it's not stored, right? Inside the database, there has one table is there, which table, photos table, which contains 10 photos, for example. My requirement, maybe I want to insert one more photo in the photos table, maybe delete or update or retrieve. In this case, I am retrieving the photos, but maybe my requirement like insert or update or delete. All these operations are related to what photos table only or not. On photos table, which type of operations you are going to perform, all that operations can you write inside this space, inside this file, photosaga.js. I need some clean separation. Okay, this is the format we are using in my project. In our project, we are using like this. Okay, so that inside the photosaga file, okay, I want to write, I want to maintain the functionalities, which functionalities, okay, insert or update or delete, which are performing on photos table, which are performing on photos table, so that I created three functions, perfect. Okay, get photos to retrieve the data, insert photos and delete photos. Within these three functionalities, means three functions, which function you want me to call at the time of clicking on this particular button? Which function you want me to call? Do you want me to call insert photos? Do you want me to call delete photo? Or do you want me to call get photo? Which function you want me to call? Obviously, my get photos has to call or not. This is for insert photo, this is for delete photo. For now, insert and delete is not there. So that I want this get photo. Then you have to call at the time of clicking on the button or not. Agreed? Same like that. There has one more table also there. Which table? Comments table. Okay, on that table, you are performing again some operations like right? insert, update, delete. These are the calm, basic operations. So that that related functionality, do you want me to write inside the photo saga? Inside the photo saga? Yes, you can write. You can write no problem at all. Syntactically, there is no problem, I think. But I need a clean separation. I want to follow some guidelines or the standards I want to follow. That's it. That's the reason I created one more saga file. One more saga file. Inside this one, okay, one function I written for what? Retrieve the comments from the comments table. Okay, which one get comments is my function. Okay, this function you can put any name, but naming convention again and following get comments. Another one is like delete comments, another one is like insert or update like that. Now, at the time of clicking on this particular get comments button, okay, which method you want me to call from the comments saga.js file? I should have to call this method or not. I should have to call this method or not. Agreed? Up to you, okay? So far, we discussed these things only, right? Okay? Okay, perfect. Now, come on. Go to the next level. Now, see this. Total, how many saga functions are there? Tell me, how many saga functions are there? How many saga functions are there? Here, three saga functions. Okay, generator function, saga functions, we can say. Okay, which is related to three functionalities. Here, three. The next one is what? Here, two. Here, two. Total, how many? Total, five. Total, five. These five functions should load. Then only somebody call, right? These five functions should load. Then only somebody call or not. Okay, if these five not loaded, then who can call it? Okay, so how I can inside this particular application only two saga files are there. Okay, we want to write only two only. Okay, in future I'm going to write based on my requirement. Okay, two more files I'm going to write within these two more files. Okay, five inside another file, five saga functions are there. Another file, five saga functions are there. Who knows? Okay, you created functions. It's okay, fine. All these functions should up and run. Then only based on the requirement, they can call that functions or not. Agreed? Agreed with my statement? 
one function is there is nothing but that function has to load it then only we can call it or not if the function not loaded how we can call it agreed yes or no so that i want to do one thing okay here three here two five saga functions are there so all saga functions instead of individually load one by one can we do one thing all saga functions can be combined okay reducers are there right okay one two three five reducers are there combined all reducers right same like this i want to i want to do one thing okay same like that i want to do one thing okay here three sagas here two sagas here three here two can we combine all these sagas okay if i combine i can get like five sagas i can get like a five sagas once i get that five sagas okay then at a time in a single step can we run that five which one is the better one individual or merged one okay always merged one or not yes or no so how i can which where, where you want me to merge okay for that purpose see this inside this one i want to create one more file which file you know root saga okay by seeing this name or name itself you can find okay root saga is nothing but it's a basic one okay it's a top level okay inside this root saga we combined all saga functions okay in this case the saga function is coming from photo saga the saga function which is coming from comment saga or not yes or no okay inside this root saga we need to combine all the saga functions or not saga related any functionality if you write one function is required that function should be a generated function so that can we write like a function function root saga okay now here i want to combine all your saga functions and then return it somebody is going to up, is going to load and make it like up and run okay so that anyone can call based on their requirement based on their requirement perfect okay this is my root saga up here okay so for good okay then now here see application level okay this one and this one how many saga functions are there we merged here we merged here okay now tell me in this root saga file in this root saga file okay three functions are required from here three functions are required from here okay three two functions required from here or not total five functions i want five functions should be here okay so that in this particular file okay three functions are there here to here i want to move then how we can move it okay i want here then how we can get it how we can get it okay obviously here export and here import or not here export and here import or not agreed or not yes or no see application level we combined all the sagas into root saga now file level come file level come in this particular file three saga functions are there instead of exporting each and every saga function individually can we do one thing can we do one thing can we create one more function here okay what is the function name you know okay this is not a related to functionality on my table or something just merge all your saga functions inside one function and export that function and export that function what is the function name you know function okay what is the file name here photo saga okay see we are following this naming convention that's what i'm telling okay in your company you are following another one it's okay fine okay here the thing is these three functions i want to register here these three functions i want to register here now this particular function contains how many saga functions three saga functions or not now which one you want me to export you want me to export this one this one this one individually or it's enough to export photo saga okay now my photo saga is enough or not yes or no why because my photo saga contains what all these three functional functions or not how we can register here i will tell i will tell okay how we can add it i will tell so that what you have to do finally export the one default default what my photo saga or not okay you are exporting photo saga function is nothing but what you are exporting three saga functions or not okay same like that can you come here come to comment saga ah uh, what is the function name function come on naming convention comment saga comment saga okay here how many functionalities you want me to register two functions you have to register or not finally what you have to do finally what you have to do export default default 
my comment saga or not now see you exported comment saga is nothing but you exported these two functions you exported photo saga is nothing but you exported these three functions or not how to register i will tell how to register so now here what we have to do now here what you have to do you have to get three functions from photo saga okay two functions from comment saga so how we can get it in the board hmm. what is that what you exported photo saga you exported from where from my same file my photo saga is my file name or not the next one import okay comment saga comment saga now come here from where from my comment saga or not okay can anyone tell what is the type of this one and this one what is the type what is the type of my photo saga and my comment saga type what is the type? Okay, the type is like a functions or not. Type is like a functions or not. If it is like a functions, what do you have to do? You should have to call it or not. You should have to call it or not. At the time of calling, can only we can get this particular two functions, we can get this particular three functions or not. So in your saga, if you want to merge all your saga functions, Okay, they provided one of the predefined, one of the predefined function they provided. Which function, you know, all is the function. My Saga people provided one of the predefined function to combine all the Saga functions. Why, why we combine? Means very simple thing. Okay, I want to load. I want to give it to some other person, all these functions. That guy is going to load and make it like up and run so that my component, which component is here, this component, can get can call that particular photo saga get photo saga function okay at the time of clicking on this particular one okay this guy can call my get command saga function or not okay why we combined all these saga function means my function has to load and up and run my saga function can only can anyone can communicate with that function okay if it is not combined you are not giving to some other person that person okay is not able to make that particular functions load as well as take it like up and run he's not able to do that one okay once my saga functions are not up and run then the time how this guy is going to call this guy is not able to call that one or not so make sure your all saga functions combine it give it to some other person who is that guy i will tell okay now we are in the middle of combine okay combine all these functions okay now Come on, here I want to combine it. How I can combine means, come on, I have one function, which function from which library? Redux Saga is the library. Redux Saga library. Inside this Redux Saga library, it's a folder, fx, fx is the file. Okay, now here, which method is there? You know, all is the method. All is the method. All is the method. Okay, now here, any predefined saga function if you want to use they said like hey just use yield keyword why they said like that you know then this method you want me to call all these are ready all these are imported then only has to call or not directly i don't want to call it once i get the confirmation like yes all the required saga functions loaded here then you can come by that means you should have to wait for some time or not you should have to wait how much time i don't know how much time it will take to load that's the reason these people said like if you call any one of my methods okay then that will just keep like yield why that yield is required means i want to control that statement whenever i want to execute that statement then only i will call it if it's normal function or not a generator function this is generator function okay if you call this one if anybody call this one it's directly not execute these particular functions or not at the same time Okay, if I use like a next, whenever you want to stop, then which keyword you have to use, in the keyword you have to use it or not, everything they want to control. So that they said like, any one of the predefined method which is given by Redux Saga people, you should have to use what? Yield, with yield only. So yield, all is the method. All is the method. Now here, here, now, already told, can anyone explain this one? Can anyone explain this one? What did it use? Can anyone? Hmm? Can anyone explain this one? Yield or what it means? Hmm? Yield means what? Hmm? Function f1. Okay. F1. This is my generator function. 
console.log of 1 yield of 10. Yield of 10. Okay, is it a valid index or not? If I call my F1, it gives me one iterator object. If I call my O dot next, then up to here it is going to call and it gives me the result or not. It gives me the result or not. What is this result? Can. Yes or no? Yesterday's discussion. Now, instead of this can, can I write my function F2 return 10? Can I write like this? Any problem with this code? In the past, it's hard coded. Now, my yield returns me the result from where? While calling my F2 or not? Okay, my F2, while calling my F2, it gives me what? Can only or not? Here also the same thing. Here also the same thing. Okay, yield is nothing but for my next. If anybody call next, then the time my execution come and stop here. Okay, then when it gives me the result, whenever my all method execution is completed, then it's going to give the result or not. Okay, now see, my console.log is going to print if I call my next. Okay, my yield is going to stop here. Okay, by returning this result. By returning this result or not. Okay, here also same thing they used. Okay, now all. How many saga functions we have to compile? Multiple. Multiple things. How we can make it like a single variable? How we can represent by using a single variable? By using an array or not? By using an array. Now, my photo saga. My photo saga contains what? My photo saga is a function. So that can we call it? Can we call it? The next one. My comment saga is a function. Can we call it? That's it. Okay, my photo saga, if I call, then they will take care. They will take care. Okay, whatever you register, okay, whatever the functions you register, that functions from here, how many? Three. Comment saga. Okay, how many? Two. These all merged or not? These all merged or not? Okay, once it is done, once it is done, can we return? Can we return this one? Now, finally, my root saga gives me what? Okay, combine. Okay. The merged saga functions or not? How many finally? Five saga functions you can get it or not? Five saga functions you can get it or not? Up there, okay. Any questions so far? I have five saga functions or not? Syntactically, do you have any questions? Anyone? Okay, now right? Just ping me if you have any questions. Okay, done. Now, this root saga contains what all your major saga functions till okay at this point of time this saga functions not up and run okay not loaded okay not up and run okay now i want to make this saga functions up and run or not they can only in your application can anyone call that functions or not so how we can make it like up and run means okay there are some extra code you have to write it First of all, you have to give this saga functions to some other person, right? To make, to load and make it like up and run. First of all, how we can give from here? Can we export it? Can we export default? What is that? My root saga. Done. Okay. Where these functions, who will load and who can make it like up and run means go to your store now. Okay. All these things, okay. All these functionalities we are going to, they are going, we are going to operate on my store only or not. Okay, now tell me. So far, how many middlewares used? So far, how many middlewares used here? One is like lager, the another one is like thunk. My saga also one more middleware, right? Can we import that saga? Can we register here first? That one you have to do it or not? So can we import it? How we can? Import. Okay. Create saga middleware. Where from where you know Redux Saga? You see different different index lager directly they give the lager lager one okay so that I registered in the middleware function okay directly they provide like a thunk registered here but here my Redux Saga people gives me one method one method to create a middleware okay that middleware has to load here that middleware has to load here. Okay, that is, they written like that. They written me what, they gives me what, one function. See, create store, it's a function. Like this, you created one store or not. Create saga middleware also one function to create your saga middleware. So, I have a one function, so that can be create a middleware. 
Okay, my saga middleware equals to which function? My create saga middleware is my function or not? Create saga middleware is my function. Okay, once my saga middleware, if you have, okay, that saga middleware has to register with what? Has to register with this or not? Can anyone tell what's missing? Is my saga functions, okay, loaded and up and running now? Is my saga functions are loaded? Okay, is it like up and running? Did you give that saga function to some other person to make it like up and run? Did you give? You did end. At this point of time, it did end. First of all, if you want to give, first get that saga functions. Okay, how do you get the saga functions? Can anyone tell? Import where my saga functions all, my saga functions inside my root saga or not. From where? From my sagas, my sagas, what is that? My root saga or not? Yes, my root sagas are right. Okay, now these sagas I have to give to my saga middleware. That guy will load and make it like up and run. Okay, how we can give means my saga middleware dot run is the method. My saga middleware dot run is the method. Okay, which one you want me to give? My root saga, which contains how many functions? Five functions. Okay, you have to give it like this. Okay, this statement where you have to write that is the question where you have to write you know whenever my saga middleware register with the store after that only it can run your saga functions it can run your saga functions before that if you put then the time my saga middleware is not at register with the store then the time it's not able to okay load your saga functions and not able to run your saga functions so that make sure once my saga middleware is registered with the store, after that only you can run your saga functions. This is the configuration. So far, good. Any questions? Any questions so far? Okay, done. What is pending now? What is pending? What is pending thing? Come on, come on. What is pending thing? Here, if you come, if you come here, see. How we can register? How we can register these two functions in my comment saga? Okay, you've given this comment saga to some other person. He called, he called. Whenever he called, okay, this guy has to give these two functions or not? Has to give these two functions or not? Agreed? Okay, how we can give? We'll see now. Now, oh, come on. Now, go to new. Don't save it. Okay, see, I have one simple functionality is there. Okay, how we can approach this functionality? Which one is the recommended way? One button is there, yeah. Okay, get photos only, you can do this. Get photos. Okay, get photos. Now, at the time of clicking on the button, at the time of clicking on the button, you call what? One function. Okay, to write the functional one function which function function get photos okay this function has to communicate with what okay this function has to communicate with your server to get that particular data or not okay this function is going to communicate with your server okay back end back end okay this back end code is going to communicate with what db or not this is the general flow right db or not now, at the time of clicking on this get photos, okay, you call this method. This method is going to call your backend, okay, get the, okay, backend is going to come in with the DB and get the response back to this guy or not. How much time it will take? My server is running in another place. Okay, you are calling from my browser. So that it's take like a two minutes time, for example. Think think like that, two minutes time is taken. Two minutes time is taken. So, to get the response, two minutes time is taken. Okay, as an end user, I don't know how much time it will take. I thought like, hey, still it's the, the response is not coming. So my end user is keep on clicking on this button. Keep on clicking on this button. Keep on clicking on this button. So that he clicked 10 times this button. Can anyone tell how many requests are going to the server? 10 times this method is going to call or not? 10 times this method is going to call or not? Great or not? General. This method call like 10 times or not? Okay, now 
10 times this method called is nothing but 10 requests go to my server or not 10 requests for what for the same response or not agreed or not for the same response okay it's like what 10 requests go to the server or not this is the recommended one okay one request not yet completed okay you are sending one more request that is also in the queue you send one more request that is also in the queue you send one more request like this multiple requests all are in the queue or not yes or no all are sending the request to the back end or not all are sending the request to the back end or not okay always is not a recommended way or not if it is like a normal function normal action we can handle okay normal action we can do like this only normal action or fun but my saga people provide you okay to overcome this problem my saga people provide you one method what you know at the time of clicking on the button call one of the saga function call one of the saga function okay for that saga function specify the behavior specify the behavior okay what is the behavior means at the time of clicking on the button to get the response how much time it will take two minutes time okay within the two minutes time you send 10 requests okay my first request not yet completed then the time total how many requests are in the queue 11 requests this is my first request okay 10 times again he clicked total how many requests in the queue 11 requests in the queue or not okay now i'm asking you do you want me to send 11 requests or you want me to send the latest only one request which request do you want me to send you want me to consider all you want me to take every request or you want me to take latest one which one is the, which one is required which one is the recommended one at least take every or take latest okay obviously take latest one for the same response if you want okay just you have to use like what take latest or not take latest or not i don't want to take every i don't want to take take every request the behavior of your saga functions okay the take first is not there take first is not there the latest one they consider the latest one they consider the latest one okay now whatever the requests are in the queue okay the previous all requests are terminate and which one is the latest one that request only or in the queue now at this point of time when uh, if my saga function behavior is like take latest my saga function behavior is like what take latest if you want each and every request also i want to send then the time you have to write like what take every or not so that for every saga function what you have to specify the behavior behavior you have to specify or not every saga function you have to specify the behavior so that can we import okay here you can write like a take every okay from where my saga effects or not or take latest okay take latest from my saga effects or not understand okay yes or no okay to whom i have to specify the behavior this saga function this saga function every saga function you have to specify the behavior based on your requirement so that come here okay i want to register okay i'm i'm doing what registration now okay these two functions i have to keep here or not then only at the time of calling this one okay that day is going to give your two saga functions okay now come here based on your requirement any saga any number of saga functions you can write based on your requirement any saga functions you can write here redux saga contains multiple saga multiple different different saga functions okay they provided different different three different functions they provided just go to the redux saga library then you can find it all these things now what is this comment saga right yes okay tell me this is my take latest i want to use Okay, take latest I'm using. I'm using. Okay, any saga function. Okay, any saga function. If you, this is the user defined. You you specified. You specified. This is the function. Okay, predefined one. Any predefined function if you want to use, then they said like what? Okay, you should have to keep by using yield keyword or not. Yield keyword or not. I want to control that one. Okay, take latest. Now the same behavior I want to use for another method. I want to use for what another method also so that the take latest behavior for which method get comments method okay that take latest behavior is for which method okay the next one is what this method okay the, the next one this is the function name right 
okay to call your function by somebody okay no one okay for security reasons no one expose the function names or not generally it's a abstraction one okay no one expose the function names okay i created some functionality okay if we, if i expose the function name to outside world with that function name anybody call or something he will, will do it or not okay for that to avoid that security security reason okay that means this is like security problem to avoid that problem what we can do is give give some identities in the node js each and every function you provided like urls right same like this i don't want to expose the name give one common name okay any name you can give one identity you can give it with that identity with that identity this guy is going to call with that identity this guy is going to call understand or not so how i can give this is the behavior to this particular function the identity i want to give to this particular function so that can give the identity okay this is my fake latest now this is the one get comments okay comma identity any name you can give it okay get underscore see and one more thing identity and constants okay hard coded values better to go with the capital letters okay now here also i want to give some name delete okay with this identity can call can call anybody can call it okay why because these two functions already up and running these two functions already up and up and running now the same thing can be right here now come to my root saga root saga or my comment saga can i copy this one can i copy this one okay here can i register that okay how we can register is okay what is that take latest what is my method name get photos is my method name the next one is what okay at underscore take yes okay you created these functions but it's not registered means there is no problem at all okay this is not used this is not up and running then the time just leave it okay leave it okay i didn't write the functionality then that why i need to keep all this why why i need the registration and everything okay done now open our saga open right now my saga functions are ready and up and run also my saga functions are ready and up and run also okay now at the time of clicking on this particular button at the time of clicking on this particular button okay you have to call the saga function or not now tell me at the time of clicking on the get photos which saga function you want me to call at the time of clicking on this particular saga function okay at the time of clicking on this particular get photos button which saga function you want me to call can anyone you should have to call this function or not this function identity is what this one or not that means i have an identity i should have to call from where i should have to call from here or not at the time of clicking on the button from here you should have to call it or not okay now your question is what how i can call if i have an identity for this particular saga function how i can call that saga function that is the question or not agreed if i have an identity for this particular saga function how i can call that saga function that is the question or not how i can call the saga function is very simple thing already you used how we can call your reducer can anyone guess can anyone guess how we can call your reducer how i can call the reducer stora e value and thanka Uh, dispatch method yeah. dispatch is the answer okay how i can call my reducer when my reducer is going to trigger when my reducer is going to call anybody use dispatch method anybody call dispatch method okay with the data that is the secondary okay dispatch method take some object that object go to my reducer as a second argument that is a secondary how i can communicate with the reducer means by using dispatch or not by using dispatch here also if you want to communicate with this particular saga we are going to use the same method which method dispatch method now if i ask the question like how i can get the dispatch method means you can tell by using store or by using connect method second argument like that you can say 
okay, where is my store? This is my store or not? Once I have the store, once I have the store, okay, which method is that? Dispatch method is there. Dispatch method take how many arguments? Tell me, come on fast. Dispatch method take how many arguments? Okay, one argument, one, one argument. What is the type of that argument? Okay, which argument? Object as an argument or not? Okay, that object to take how many properties? Object to take how many properties? Any number of properties, not exactly two, any number of properties, but one property is the mandatory property type. Any number of properties, one mandatory property is what? Type. So that here, my type is the mandatory property, right? Okay, now that type you have to specify like what? Get for those. Okay, if you want to give some data, when you want data, for example, in this case, in this case, my photo saga get photos. Is it require some data? Is it require some data? This function requires some data? No. But inside the photo is there, right? It requires some data from outside, from the form or not. Then that time you have to pass some data. That data you can pass from here like this. You can pass it. In this case, there is no data. Nothing. I will tell that one too. Understand? Up to here, okay? We can we check? It will really work or not? Yeah, can you go to my saga? Inspect it. Okay. Now you have to tell me the flow. Okay. From where? Control P. Where? Photos, right? Photos saga.js. Okay. Photos. Get photos. This is my already debugger is there. My photos.js. Photos.js. This is the one. Now add, click on this. Yes. Can anyone tell? In your application, you dispatch something is nothing but it go to. You dispatch something is nothing but it go to how many places now? It go to the reducer. It go to the reducer. The next one is what? It go to the reducer. The next one is what? No, no. It is going to check. It's going to check what? Your saga function also or not? Saga function also or not? See here. You dispatch something is nothing but it's going to communicate with the reducer. Okay, that is okay. Yesterday's class, up to yesterday's class. Now onwards, okay. My saga functions also called by whom? Called by whom? Dispatch only or not? So that come on. How many reducers are there? Okay, my saga reducer is one. Okay, here also I can keep this one. The next one. Come on. My users reducer is there. Okay, here also there. The next one. My post reducer is there. Post reducer. Post reducer is there. Okay, this is also. See, if I click on this one. If I click on this one, see your other reducer. See this action. My type is like a get photos. Get photos. Okay. See this is my type is like users. Is my get photos is like users. No, right? Make sure, make sure your saga function identity should not match with your reducer types here. Whatever the type you put, okay, the same type don't put within the saga function identity. As a saga function identity, you don't put it. Okay, if you put like that one and this one, both are like same. Okay, for example, action type is like you put like users. Okay, here also users. This one is matched or not. Okay, make sure your reducer types and my saga function identity types should be different. Okay, now my action or type is what? Get photos. It's like users, not. Okay, next reducer. Here also my type is what? Get photos, right? Not. The next one. Another reducer. Okay, action dot type is what get photos. It's like switch case. Nothing will happen. The next one is what it has to call that one. It throws an error and check it. Console. What happened? Argument function is not a function. Okay, what it means? Can anyone tell? Japan is not a function. What it means? Japan is not a function. Means what? By seeing this, by seeing this error message, you have to tell. You have to conclude one sentence is not a function means you are expecting a function but i am not pass that one i am not pass that function or not you are expecting a function okay for example you are expecting one function why because you call it you are calling if i pass like a 10 then it gives me error like what then is not a function like this or not 
you are expecting a function but i didn't pass okay what what is the problem where exactly the problem you know here see this okay my get photos get photos and get photos here is there right my get photos is a function it's like a second argument not like a first argument okay second second argument the first one is the identity my second one is like what your function or not okay the same thing in the comment saga also my first one is like an identity and my second one is like what function or not now here why it gives me the function error right the second one he is expecting like what function but i am passing like what string okay is my string is like a callable can i call my string no right that is the reason it gives me an error that's it now come here Okay, now can I click on this get photos? Yeah, click. Okay, dispatched. Okay, here, not required, not required. Here also not required. Now, yes. My saga function called or not? Yes or no? My saga function called or not? Okay, now you can write the functionality. You can think about that one. Get comments. Can we write the same thing for get comments also? Now, where is that? photos and comments comments dot js okay here can we take the store yes okay can we dispatch that one yes what is the id in my comment saga for this particular method the id is what get comments or not so that can we use this get comments that's it Okay, now from here, get comments. Here, 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 yeah, called or not. Okay, okay then. If you want to remove the debuggers, breakpoints, okay, here one breakpoint is there. If you want to remove, no need to go each and every file and remove that one like this. Okay, here, see this, all your debuggers, you can break points, you can say all your breakpoints you can find here just right click on this one okay if you want to disable you can disable it you can remove all breakpoints like this in a single step you can remove all your breakpoints okay done now come to my comments saga or my photo saga here what functionality you want me to write that is my next level come on how we can <laughs> One, can anyone here? This saga function has to communicate with whom? Okay, my saga function, I don't want to write the Ajax. Okay, my Ajax you write like in another file so that that file has to call. Okay, that particular function has to call from where? From my saga function or not? Already you created, right? What you created? Already you created one shared. On shared file, there you handle your Ajax technique by using an Anxious. Okay, that one, that one only how to call it or not. Now already gives you like, okay, the URL. What is my URL? JSON placeholder. Okay, comments or photos is my URL or not. Photos is my URL or not. This is my URL. Okay, that URL you have to give to whom? In my shared one, server call, you have to call this particular method by passing that URL or not. Okay, so from my photo saga, you have to call that method or not. Okay, if you want to call one external method, one external method, which method? This method. This method. If you want to call one external method from my saga, okay, by using saga, okay, there has one predefined method is there. What method is, you know? Call is the method, call. Okay, call method is used for call one external method okay it's like a user defined method or not it's like a user defined method or not okay how we can call it very simple thing yield okay for yield any predefined method used then the time you should have used like a yield. now call what you want me to call can anyone guess what you want me to call what you want me to call i want to call one of the method see this first one is function Okay, which function you want me to call? Can anyone guess? 
which function you want me to call this function or not. This is inside where server call. So that can we get the server call first? Import my server call from my server call. Where is that? Share drive from my share server call. Okay, done. See this. This call is not yours. Call is product saga one. Okay. Now he is asking, hey, you, you are calling call method. Which method you want me to call? Which method you want me to call? Can anyone? My server call dot function send get request. This method has to call. Okay. That method I given to this guy. While calling this method, do you want me to pass any URL? Okay, any inputs? Yes, you have to pass the inputs. How many inputs? Multiple inputs or one input or ten inputs. That inputs you can pass like a second order. Okay, see this is equals to syntactically, it's like a normal call. Call apply bind is there, right? Call method. My first argument is like this. My second argument is like the original function arguments or not. Same like that. Okay. Now, this is the one. Comma. Okay. What is my URL? One argument only. That is the URL. So that this is the one. That's it. Okay. Now, everything is takes care by this guy only. He is going to call this method by passing this URL and give the response back. Okay, how we give the response back means, this is the method, right? One method, how it give the response back to you? By returning or not. If any method returns something, can we hold with some argument? Yes. Can I put the debugger now? I'll come here. Can I click on the get photos? Yes, it's called. Now, it is going to call what? Your server call, your server call.js. This method is going to call or not? Yeah, this is on the proof. See this. This is called by call, not you. Now, one request to go to the server and get the response. See my response. Yes, my data 5000 photos there or not? 5000 photos there or not? Agreed. Yes or no? Understand or not? Once you get this data, okay, what you have to do? The next level. My data inside this saga now, inside this saga, what do we have to do? You should have to give this data to my red user or not. Okay, how we can give the data to the red user? By using which method? Dispatch is the method or not. Okay, which take common arguments? One object. What is my type? Now tell me. Type. This photos I want to update. Okay, update by whom? Reducer. Can you go to my saga reducer to update the photos? My photos is my key or not? Yes. Okay, what is the data with which key you want me to pass? Payload is my key or not? So that you can write like a payload. This is my response dot data or not? But okay. If you want to get the dispatch, how you can get it? Store one way. The another one is like connect method. But those people said like, hey, don't use your methods. I will provide you one of the method equivalent to dispatch. That is like a put is the method. So that instead of dispatch, can we use the put method? Now, the air method, right? Can we use like a yield? That's it. Now, can we check? Is it really work or not? If it is really stored within the where Redux store that should be registered here or not? Yeah, say this. My saga reducer photos how many? 5,000 photos or not? My saga reducer photos how many? 5,000 photos or not? Agreed? Now the same thing to my what? Comment saga. Okay, here what? Comments here, saga reducer comments has to update is nothing but my type should be comments. Now go to my photo saga, these all are my imported one, imported functions and everything or not. Done. Now can you check my comments now? Now say this get photos, yeah, photos. Click on this one, get comments. Yes, 5,000 photos, 500 comments. Now go to my action. Okay, this is my action. Go to my get users. 
go to my thumb get photos finally can you check my user radius or users is like 10 pr post radius or my posts are like 100 my saga radius or my photos are like 500 and my comments are like 5000 my photos are like 5000 my comments are like 500 or not all are inside the store in my store so the data is handled by multiple producers or not Okay, if you want to write in a single reducer, yes, you can write it, no problem at all. This is the way my saga is going to work. Understand? Okay, okay, then I will upload, I will provide you that video also after one o'clock. After one o'clock, okay, you can you can download. You can download. I didn't I didn't get that video yesterday's video. I will check, I will check with them. I will provide. Okay, okay then. I'll show you that live example in my application how we are using. Okay, we'll tell. Thanks, yes, thanks for joining. Okay, just just practice all these things. Practice the actions, thunk and saga.